When I met him when he was young, I thought I'd never met a person whose heart burned with the fire of social justice so strongly. He is a leader. He inspires me. He knows how to speak truth to power. He is not only a leader, but a sage and a visionary. My name is David Mixner. I am a gay man, and I am very proud. He has never forgotten the roots of his childhood. He has never forgotten not only the pain that he and others, gay and lesbian Americans, have endured. He also cares for other people who are dispossessed and downtrodden. One set of laws for LGBT citizens, and another set of laws for the rest of America. Oh, no, you don't. And he walks the walk. He doesn't just talk the talk. To allow Americans to vote on our rights, to choose whether we can be free human beings, let us be clear to them they can't take away our freedom. We already have it as a people. It is ours. We are free. And we are going to fight to protect it. In the early years of the AIDS epidemic, our community was recognized as a moral force leading this entire country up to a higher level. David remains that kind of voice, never wavering from his clarity, and never departing from the truth, no matter how many toes get stepped on. All I can think about is how many more tears should be shed so some politicians in a back room can figure out when it's convenient to join us and to fight for our freedom. How fortunate we are in this country at this time with all the things we've had to do to have had his energy, his heart, his devotion, his passion. He has changed my life. And I promise you on my life that if you fill the jails, if you work in those congressional districts, I will be able to stand before you again and say, my name is David Mixner. I am a gay man and I am free. Thank you very, very much. Please welcome Mr. David Mixner.